This is the Weather Extreme video. It's the morning edition for Friday, March 27th. I'm James Spann. A cold breeze blowing across the state today. Freezing temperatures are possible early tomorrow. There you go. Big trough over the east. High amplitude pattern is back. Pulling down the colder air today. Uh, the rain is out this morning. will be dry for the most part over the next few days. Maybe some minor exception. We are in the 40s to start the day. Haleyville down to 38, Birmingham at 44. We won't get past the mid-50s today. And a chilly north wind will make it feel colder. Temperatures way below freezing up north around the Great Lakes. And that will be draining down in here today and tonight. Now, we got all these freeze watches and warnings in effect. Uh, what's interesting, the Weather Service opted not to include the Birmingham Metro, but they do have all the counties to the north and east. And, of course, you know, freezing temperatures will not stop at these county lines. We all know that. I mean, there's going to be some places in Jefferson and Shelby that do go below freezing. It's just a general guideline. But uh, low 30s are likely tomorrow morning with 20s up in the Tennessee Valley. And this is not unusual. We always have late-season cold snaps, and I don't think we're done with them by any means. Uh, for those growers, you know, my recommendation, April 15th, tax day, if you want to avoid problems with freezing temperatures, Here's the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. This is suggesting about one-half inch. Let's dive in there and take a look. Model fans, the GFS, valid today at 1 o'clock. This is the 06Z run. There's your big trough in the east. Tight gradient, breezy, cool today, mid-50s. And again, with that big upper trough axis passing through, hey, look, I can't rule out the chance of a little sprinkle somewhere. In fact, this is the... High-res NAM ballad tonight at 9 o'clock, showing maybe a few little showers about. So, uh, you know, an isolated shower, not out of the question this evening or maybe early tonight. And then tomorrow, again, we start the day down in the low 30s. Most places somewhere between 30 and 34. And uh, the day will be pretty cold. Uh, the, the GFS is showing a high of only 48 tomorrow. A uh, mixture of clouds and sunshine. And again, we note that disturbance uh, northwest of the state producing maybe a, a few raindrops or a snowflake or two or some grout pull up around Memphis and Jonesboro, Arkansas. And as that moves to the southeast, again, that could squeeze out a sprinkle or two maybe late tomorrow. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening off the high res NAM, showing maybe a few sprinkles over in West Alabama. So the chance of rain is not zero you know, through tomorrow night, but uh, obviously it's not going to be a big deal. Sunday, the morning will be cold again with, uh, again, lows 30 to 35, same thing. And then we start to warm up Sunday afternoon with low 60s likely. The sky will be sunny. And let's peek at the numbers coming off the ensemble. You can see those low 30s both Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, the uh, Look at the high Saturday, 49. But the good news beyond that, we go back in the 70s as we head into April. Now, Monday of next week, a warm front will be lifting northward across the state, and that uh, will probably bring some rain in here at times. Uh, it's not going to rain all day, but certainly rain very possible Monday with a high in the mid to upper 60s. And then Tuesday, uh, this run is drier. We have seen other runs that keep a pretty decent chance of showers going. We'll still maintain the chance of showers Tuesday. But if this run is right, it wouldn't rain much, and the high would be in the low 70s. We'll go to Wednesday, and the model, uh, at least the GFS, continues to back off the idea of a big severe weather threat or a strong storm threat at midweek. Will it rain? Yes. Uh, low 70s, a moist air mass in place, a surface low developing near Childress, Texas. And then Thursday, you can see just a, a weak surface low west of the state, still a chance of showers, but there's no big organized low, no big upper air support, and this would not be a severe weather look. But we all know this could change again. Uh, but we'll certainly mention a chance of showers on Wednesday and Thursday. Highs both lays low to mid-70s, and this is Friday, a week from today. Pretty big trough over eastern Canada, and down below that, a new surface low forms on the Red River, and again, maybe a few showers but probably nothing too widespread. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast. This is Sunday, April 5th. Heights are below average, and down below that, that would be cool and dry. That's a cool, pretty pleasant, probably highs around 70 and lows 
in the 50s, if that happens to be correct. Nice and quiet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.